Welcome to week 16 of our SAT vocabulary study. There will be a quiz this Friday on weeks 15 and 16. And please note that there is homework at the end of this video. This week all of our words are adjectives. Our first word this week is hapless. And someone who is hapless is someone who um, is not with a lot of luck. They are luckless. They um, encounter some unfortunate circumstances, or they're just basically unlucky. I've heard the word used also with really bad teams, teams that rarely win a game. And I've also used, or I've heard the word used with people who are very clumsy and they're continuously tripping all over the place. So um, hapless can be used in a variety of ways. Here we have some hapless animals who are helplessly stuck. A little, I guess that's a hedgehog or maybe a porcupine at the bottom is stuck in a McDonald's cup. And the cow at the top who tried to get over the fence but didn't quite make it. And um, that looks painful. Hapless. Our next word is pungent. And something that's pungent can affect the taste or the smell. It's a very sharp uh, taste or smell, um, often described as biting or acrid. Of course, a pungent smell might be a skunk, or a pungent taste might be that of vinegar. And here's Corky. Corky couldn't help but hold his nose when he visited the pungent elephant house on his school's field trip to the zoo. Our next word is affable. And affable is a word that describes a person who is very friendly. Another word for that is amiable, or an old word, congenial. Someone who is very likable, easy to like, easy to approach, easy to talk to, nice to be around. Um, notice the adverb here, affably. You can use that to describe um, a verb. Or the adverb could describe um, an adjective. Um, here is Betty White. I don't know if you're familiar with her, but I consider her to be an affable person. People like to be around Betty White because she's so affable and very good natured. And she also loves animals, so that's always a plus. And she wear those, wears those cat ears quite well. Our next word is fortuitous. And something that is fortuitous happens by chance or accident, and it's not a bad accident, it's kind of a good accident, like you kind of fall into good luck. Um, and someone who's fortuitous um, is often lucky or fortunate. So if you think about it, it's sort of the opposite of hapless in a sense. And here's Knuckles. On her last trip to the mall, Knuckles purchased red rubber boots because they were cute. But it turned out to be a fortuitous purchase, a lucky or fortunate one, because it rained the very next day. And she had her boots. And she's really cute. Finally, tremulous. And the word tremulous describes a person who is either uh, fearful or full of fear, um, nervous, shaky, or just someone who's kind of timid. Someone who doesn't want to get up in front of class and speak might be considered tremulous. And here's our picture for that. Tremulous and tearful, little Sophia gave Santa her very best sour puss face. She later received a lump of coal for Christmas. Not really, but that's a really cute picture too. All right, so there you have it, our adjectives for the week. Here is the homework, very simple. I'm going to show you five pictures, five photographs that follow. Um, place this homework on the page opposite of your notes in the RILJ, and I want you to write vividly descriptive sentences for each word, for each photograph, and I want you to make sure that you use the word in the sentence. Sometimes students don't do that. They'll use the synonyms or the definition, and that's not what I'm looking for, because I want you to practice using the word. And of course, relate your sentence to the photographs. And make sure you underline the vocabulary word in the sentence. 
So here we go. The first one um, requires a little bit of um, explanation. This is a picture of a variety of hapless cartoon characters. You have Charlie Brown and Elmer Fudd and Wiley Coyote and Sylvester the Cat. So you can write a sentence about one of them or you can write a sentence about all of them collectively hapless. Next we have some baby skunks who are really cute but um, very pungent. Another affable person, Buddy the Elf. Someone who fell into a very fortuitous situation and won the lottery, lots of money. And finally, Tremulous. All right, so there you go. That's week 16 vocabulary. Remember, we have a quiz on Friday.